Hello and welcome to Evening Afterglow. Uh, today we're talking about the text that we reviewed and preached from last night from James chapter 2. Probably uh, the most famous passage in the book of James. James chapter 2 verses 14 through 26 in which one very strong pulsating thing is being said over and over and over and over again in that passage. Faith, genuine faith in Christ, saving faith, creates in our lives a transformation that results in good works. And we see that all the way through our journey as believers. Uh, he, of course, takes quite a few verses to talk about that and explain that. And he argues the point powerfully using a hypothetical situation, using historical examples, using questions, uh, posing situations that we consider, but making his point nonetheless over and over and over again. True faith, the faith that comes from God, the gift that God gives to those who are saved to believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. This faith, when it comes into our human experience, it does so through our mind and our heart, and it transforms us into what Paul calls new creatures in Jesus Christ. Jesus describes this in the third chapter of John as the new birth experience. We're born from above. We're born by the Spirit, born again. This faith creates a real newness in us that creates a brand new life for us. You know, the passage of Scripture in James 2 is arguing against a problem that people were wanting to say they had faith, but they didn't have to have any works to prove it. Uh, and he addresses that. That's the, that's the tenor. That's the way that passage is presented. But this morning, I want to remind you that there's a real positive aspect to that passage because it states clearly that if you have faith, then that faith will be working inside of you as a Christian to produce all types of good things. Isn't that wonderful that you're not out there on your own trying to do what God wants you to do, but actually God gives you this gift. It's called faith, and this faith has power. It's empowered by grace, and this faith works and works and works and works and produces in us the things that honor the Lord. I don't know about you, but there are mornings I get up, I am bushed, I am so tired. And I wonder, can I get up and do what God wants me to do today? Do you feel like that today? Perhaps you do. Well, what's gonna get you through that? What's gonna help you get up and keep going? Your faith in Jesus Christ. And so I find that encouraging, and I hope you do too. I wanna tell you something about the Christian faith as I close. I am so encouraged by it. I don't find it to be a hammer that beats me over the head. I find it to be a helping hand that lifts me up and helps me to keep going. I hope you find that to be true as well, too, in your ex experience and understanding of the Christian faith. I am so thankful we've had our time together today. And whatever lies out there for you this week, I pray that God would strengthen your faith, quicken your faith, enliven your faith, and enable your faith to help you do what God wants you to do. God bless you. Go out there and do something that's right. Amen. It's great to be with you. I'll look forward to seeing you next time on Evening Afterglow.